Griswold gang, welcome back to the channel. I am Mr. Clark Griswold. Thank you guys for being here today. Guys, if you're new to the strat, new to trading, new to the channel, struggling with your trading, this channel right here will change the way that you guys trade in the stock market, okay? But the first thing I need you guys to do is go down below, click that subscribe button, then hit that bell. The bell is the important part. It gives you the notifications for when I send out daily videos just like this one. This is our top five watch list for July 20th, Wednesday, July 20th, and I send them out every day. I send out top fives, main watch list, weekly swings, monthly swings. There are 200 plus videos for you guys to learn how to trade the strat, trade consistently, trade profitably, and win. Okay, and that's our ultimate goal here is to have you guys all win and be on the winning side of your trades it's probably not going to happen more often than not, but your winners are going to far outweigh your losers because we have our stop losses set tight. Okay, I'm also on Twitter at Mr. Clark Griswold. If you guys have questions, make sure you're asking me in my DMs or tweet at me. I will answer them for you. Don't think they're silly, you're dumb. Ask away. You can also put them in the comment section on any of my videos. A couple things before we get started here. Number one, TradingView platform is what we use right here to chart. If you are looking for a platform, you've never used TradingView and you want to, there is a link in the description below. You can click on that link and it gives you a free 30-day trial if you've never used TradingView before. And then if you decide to use TradingView, you get up to $30 off of your subscription, okay? I use the Pro Plus subscription myself. Uh, it's conducive to what I need to, to use and what I feel like I use. So that's the one I use. Uh, second thing, the ads that roll through on these videos, guys, please watch them. Those ads are put there by the advertisers and they keep this stuff free for you guys so you do not have to pay for it. It keeps your money in your pocket, okay? So um, let those ads roll through when you watch the videos in the future or if they pop up, go get a snack, go get a drink, come back, we'll run through our stuff and we'll just carry on. And the last thing, the Griswold Strat Indicator, only available on TradingView but not in the Indicator tab. You have to go into the description below. There's a link there to purchase it. I will send you the link to add it to your trading view. It's a one-time $25 fee. You get it for life. Anything we add to it, you get, okay? For free, you'll never pay another dime again for it, okay? One-time fee. Gets you a bunch of things. It gets you this time frame indicator right here. Paints the inside bars yellow, paints the outside bars white. Puts these little IB tabs here for inside bars, white. OB tabs for outside bars. Gives you the candlestick number. Sarah Strat Sniper's 50% rule indicators. You can see them right here. Here's the weekly 50%. Also has the daily and the monthly. Highlights 3-1 setups for you. Highlights double inside bar setups for you. Okay, let's get started on the top five guys. Number one on the list, and these are in no particular order, is Lucid. LCID Lucid inside bar, okay? Calls at 2055, puts at 1986. If you followed me for a long time, you guys know all about inside bars. If you're new, I would suggest you guys only watch for inside bars. It's the easiest thing for you guys to trade for any any newbies that are around. Even for the people who have been around, myself, I love the inside bars still. Okay? I will trade other things, but I like the inside bars. They're easy to spot, especially with the Griswold Strat Indicator and the inside bars painted yellow, okay? Um, so when we see inside bars and we notice them, I want you guys to think of a spring becoming spring-loaded. So inside bars or one bars, uh, when we're talking the Strat, that's what that little one at the bottom means. They do not break the high and they do not break the low of the previous candle. They stay within that range and it's a tightening range. So I want you guys to look at that inside bar and think of a spring getting coiled and tightened and tightened and tightened and getting ready to explode into one direction or the other. And that's what tends to happen more often than not. Here's an example just off of this one here where we opened and we triggered and we hit targets all the way up with a beautiful run. Okay, so look for Lucid to break away off of the inside bar. Now, guys, if they gap, I have like two gap videos, I think, but we play the break of the 15 minute opening bar, okay? If it breaks to the high side, we play to the high side. If it breaks to the low side, we play to the low side. Whichever way 
that gap is, okay? So go watch those gap videos if you want a little bit more clear understanding on how to play the gaps when we gap in the morning, okay? Second one we're going to go through is Pfizer PFE. Pfizer has a inside bar set up as well. We've got everything to the red outside of this day and this hourly. So we'll look for this to trend to the downside with puts at $50.60 and then our weekly trigger there as well at 50.43. So we'll look for the break of this inside bar. If we go back and look on Pfizer inside bars, break to the downside, break to the upside. Okay, another break to the upside. They are high probable plays. And again, if you're new, that's what I suggest you guys look for is those inside bars, okay? JPM, JP Morgan has an inside bar as well. So JP Morgan, we can look for calls at 114.94, puts at 112.65. We've already triggered two up on the week. I know that because these pink lines represent my weekly trigger. So I've, we're already two up. We're gonna look for a possible continuation to the upside on JPM. Inside bars in the past on JP Morgan. That was a double inside bar. Here's a 3-1 setup, break to the downside. And JP Morgan does not have a lot of inside bars. There's one with a break to the downside. There's another one, gap to the upside. Here's another one, break to the upside, didn't hit targets. Okay, here's another one triggered, hit targets. So we'll see what happens on this play here. Not a long ways to go to hit that first target. 114.94 to 115. Hey, that's a buck. That'll do an, that'll do enough damage for you on an option play. Okay. XLU double inside bar. Okay. Consolidation for two straight days. A lot of people in the strat love to play these. We can call <laughs> I started calling them magic beans. The double inside bars being magic beans or a cheat code or a uh, um, a stock market hack. But we'll look for the break of this inside bar here. I would I would prefer to play this to the downside based on this time frame continuity. So if this triggers to the downside, it's definitely a play I'll be looking at. To the upside, it's not something I will be looking at as aggressively. Okay, especially given that our target to the upside, guys, is only 69.70. It's only a nine cent bump. So we very well could hit that target and reverse all the way back down and become outside bar on the day. Okay, our target to the downside for the puts is a little better uh, at 15, 15 cent difference. Uh, but we also have, we're close to triggering two down on the week on XLU as well, because we are still inside week, trying to break out of this inside bar right here. Okay, lift is up next. And this is, what are we at here? One, two, three, four. Number five, lift. Play number five of the top five. I will give you two bonus plays, so just stick around for the last two. Inside bar on lift. Okay, full time frame outside of the year is pointing up. Okay, so calls at 1383, puts at 1330. I would like to see this trend up based on the time frame continuity, but the stock market is what it is. It'll do what it'll do. Okay, but we do what the candles tell us to do. So we'll take these triggers and we'll take profit at these targets for sure on lift. Bonus play Apple AAPL. 3-1 setup, okay, outside bar, inside bar, time frame to the upside, calls at 151.23, puts at 146.92. Guys, if we go back in time to look at the last 3-1 setup Apple had, we have to go back all the way to August of 21. I'll zoom out. 3-1 setup went outside bar so we opened came down and went right back up this one was much better triggered here let me zoom in to help you guys out there triggered and we jumped way way up here okay so a really 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 good play on that 3-1 setup on apple here's one more that we can look at again outside bar inside bar boom to the upside on that 3-1 play the last one we're gonna look at is bidu 
and B I D U. Okay. I don't even think this was supposed to be a bonus play, but we'll put it on here anyways. It was on our main list. It's now on our top five bonus plays. Okay. So we can look for calls on this one at 142.75. <laughs> the problem is here, I don't really want to go against this weekly time frame. But if it trends up, we've got good magnitude to the top side. So we will see what happens here. If we want to draw a broadening formation here, we most definitely can. Like so. And we'll draw one to the top side. This looks very, very even there. So we will draw it from here, I guess. There we go. Something like that. Higher high, lower low, higher high, lower low. Where are we going? Back up to the top. We'll see what happens. Okay, we will see what happens. So that's the top five plus a couple bonus plays there, guys. Good luck trading tomorrow. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Subscribe down below. Make sure you guys get that indicator to help you guys out. And we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.